Our first lesson is about the uh, discoveries in Joko Dian Pikiman site. The Joko Dian Pikiman site is located some 50 kilometers southwest of Beijing in Fangshan district. In the vicinity of the site, the primary topographical features are characterized by the presence of well-developed massives and alluviums. A series of caustic caves, fissures, and pockets are found in the area's limestone massives. This site is at the juncture of the Western Hills and the North China Plain. Accordingly, foods are originating both from the hills as well as from the vast plain constituted the main food resources for the region's ancient human beings. A river of considerable size, which provided fresh water for life in the area named the Joko River, snaked before the site and later flowed into an even larger river. Limestone caves developed in the massives functioned as a way to protect early humans from the harassment of the severe weather. With all these above-mentioned beneficial elements, Joko Dian was thus an optimal living space and a place for early men. At least 27 fossil localities, representing nearly 5 million years of evolutionary history of vertebrates, have been found in this area so far, most of which are distributed in the scope of about one square kilometer along a low limestone massif locally named Dragonbone Hill. The Pikinman site, the largest human inhabited cave discovered here, is world famous for its Pikinman fossils as well as its abundant cultural remains. Close to the Pikinman site, locality 4, locality 15, and the upper cave are the most valuable localities here, each yielding either important human fossils, stone implements, or a large number of animal fossils. The Pikinman site here was placed under state protection for key culture relics by the State Council in 1961, and it was inscribed on the World Heritage List by UNESCO in 1987. For nearly 1,000 years, the local residents of Joko Dian mainly depended on the resource-oriented industries, such as quarrying and mining to maintain their lives. As a result, numerous animal fossils preserved in the caves or fissures were discovered here. In 1918, John Gilda Anderson, a famous Swedish geologist, he came here in search of fossil animals and undertook a survey excavation at Chickenbone Hill, later known as Locality 6. In 1921, Mr. Anderson and several other scientists were directed by a local resident to a cave that was said to be full of dragon bones, and in this way discovered the Pikinman site, later known as Locality 1 of Joko Dian site. In the next two years, Mr. Zdansky, an Austrian paleontologist working as Mr. Anderson's assistant, made some short-term excavations at Locality 1. In 1926, scientists identified two human teeth when they were cleaning the collected specimens from here in Uppsala, Sweden. And in 1927, Mr. Davison, a Canadian comparative anatomist, proposed a new genus as well as a new species, human erectus, commonly known as Peking man for the human teeth found at the site. Starting in 1927, under the financial support of the Rockefeller Foundation, systematic excavations were conducted at Joko Dian, and the first skull of a Peking man was then discovered by Mr. Pei Wenzhong, a famous Chinese Paleolithic archaeologist. On December 2, 1929, in the same year, evidence of the use of fire by Peking Man was collected from Locality 1, and in 1930, 
Mr. Pei Wenzhong discovered various stone implements. Locality 15 was discovered in 1932, while the upper cave, another human inhabited cave, was discovered in 1930 and was excavated later. Three complete human skulls of late Homo sapiens, together with dozens of stone implements, ornaments, and relics of burial rites were unearthed from the upper cave. Later, in November 1936, Mr. Jia Lanpo, who is in charge of the excavation then, discovered three skulls of Peking men at locality 1. Unfortunately, in July 1937, the excavation work here was forced to stop due to the Marco Polo Bridge event. However, some scholars were still persistently undertaking research work in the labs. Unexpectedly, during the Pacific War, both Peking Man fossils and Upper Cave Man fossils, as well as many other valuable cultural remains unearthed from here, were mysteriously lost in 1941. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, six scientific excavations at Locality 1 were organized in 1950s and lasting through the 1970s, and the scientists discovered altogether six teeth, one fragment of humerus and a fragment of tibia, one mandible and two fragments of skull. In addition, one tooth of early Homo sapiens and some cultural relics were unearthed from locality 4. During the last two decades, some sort of scientific activities such as survey excavations and some sampling tests have been underway constantly at Zhou Kou Dian, both in 1996 and in 2003 under the support of UNESCO and EDF. Specialists from China and France conducted two geological and geophysical investigations here, and finally localized several potentially fossiliferous areas on Dragonbone Hill. In 2001, another human fossil bearing locality was discovered, and it's now designated as Tianyuan Cave. During later excavations, plentiful animal bones and human fossils probably belonging to the late Homo sapiens, were excavated from the cave, which is just 6 kilometers to the southwest of Peking Man. The scientific discoveries can be labeled as the most important breakthroughs achieved in the study of the Zhou Kou Dian site in recent years. Mm -hmm.